a flock of crossbred roosters of black astrop and grammar chickens taking turns to crow. This is a business which 27-year-old Chris Njovu of Lusaka is passionate about. The chickens fetch between 800 and 1,300 kwacha, depending on type and size. But the work involved in taking care of these birds is more than what meets the eye. I give them a lot of food so that they can uh, uh, protect themselves against the cords. I usually buy cabbages. These guys, they eat cabbages. Like that, at least we are helping them in terms of uh, producing eggs. With a drop in temperatures owing to the winter season, mortalities in the brooding house are inevitable. Once power cuts, and then it gets cold inside that side, meaning I'll find a some mortality rate. Yes, so I just have to, to be here when power cuts. I just have to leave work so that I can um, uh, make a fire for them. And the Poultry Association of Zambia has advised farmers to intensify care for the chickens to avoid mortalities. That temperature uh, drop should not be the reason why you should close up the windows because just like you and me, we cannot survive without the fresh air. The chicken needs fresh air. It's an issue of actually just dealing with those two things, increase the feed intake. Secondly, also, it is the issue of now using the alternative sources of energy to actually build up the temperatures. Mr. Chanda has also stressed that the market is likely to experience fluctuations in the price of chickens and eggs due to a drop in production. There's been some little adjustments in the prices of eggs. Why? Because of undersupply resulting from uh, the weather-related challenges. For broilers, definitely there have been also small adjustments. Why? Because most of the chickens that you see on the market are smaller. And for those that are able to grow very good chickens, they are able to sell between 90 and 100 kwacha. Mark Fasson Mukuka, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.